me see, let me see, let me see. Oops. Have to adjust it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. I am back. Back again. <laughs> so, um, you gotta drink of water. Ah. As I said in my last video, I am back. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, now we're done talking about PlayStation. I said what I had to say on that video. If you want to see that video, please go to my channel, watch the video, see if you like it or not. It's fine. Leave a comment. Great. And also, give a thumbs up if 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 you want. I'm not forcing you to do it. All right. So so let's get on some positive things going on in the gaming industry. So let's start off with not other than ba -ba -da -ba, the Xbox. So we all heard what's been going on within the Xbox uh, community within the ecosystem that now that, you know, a developer within um, ZeniMax and Bethesda Studios is, is leaving uh, that branch to go off and do other things to where is that now it's time to fix certain positions within Xbox now that um <clears throat> excuse me now that Miss Sarah Bonds is now the president of Xbox and of course Matt Booty is now the new uh, head leader of uh, of uh, you know of uh, Bethesda and uh, Zanimax if if I'm if I'm if I'm right if if I'm wrong please let me know in the comments down below because I just want to make sure that I got everything correct but being said that new positions have been made and and now there's even a new studio on the horizon being developed within the Xbox Studios, which is great, cool. We they're gonna need a new uh, studio to work within other studios, including Activision Blizzard, which is great. And now that Activision Blizzard is part of the Xbox family, we all saw the video about Phil Spencer being there at BlizzCon. And he is indeed opening up his arms to that whole community that you are now part of Xbox. I am here to give you the games that you truly deserve. So he, so Phil Spencer is going to do whatever it takes to make sure all the games that, um, that, that people loved in the past are still going to be treated as the way they're meant to be treated. Especially Blizzard. Especially that company. Because we all know that Blizzard and Activision have been have been um, hurting a lot. And now that Phil Spencer's taking the reins. And um, he's going to do what he has to do for everybody. Making sure that everyone's working together as a team. Making sure that everyone gets along making sure that no one happens to anybody and 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 I believe him and I do believe the man that he'll do the job that's exactly what he did with Bethesda he was like hey they need help we must we must help them out we must do what we have to do as a gaming development group you know to help one another to work together you know and I hope that that it does come true I hope those other titles will come to the Xbox uh, and see if they can try to uh, put all those special keys on a controller. And if not, we're going to have to plug in a, a keyboard and mouse, which is fine. And um, But yeah, so that's, that's what's going on so far with Xbox. And not only that, guys, um, speaking about Activision Blizzard, uh, of course... We all know that uh, Modern Warfare 3 had came out. 
I, of course, did bought the game because I'm not going to be... No, I'm not going to wait for Game Pass for... I'm not going to wait for it to be on Game Pass because I want to play the game immediately because knowing me, I like a good story. And uh, and to be frank, the game was... The, the, the campaign was... It was okay. It, uh, it was okay. <laughs> was it great? No. Was it bad? No. It was just... It was it was it was okay. Sucks that a certain character is that long or longer there within Call of Duty and I uh, hope uh, you guys played it, hope you know how I feel. I wish that character was still alive in that game. But um but multiplayer came out. I, I played a little bit. I played uh, my first uh, multiplayer map. It was really great, but uh, the spawn points those need to be fixed. Activision, please fix your spawn points. It needs fixing. Because uh, we're shooting uh, uh, other players way too easy. Got to make it a little difficult for us to find them. And uh, I played the, the new um, the new open world zombies. It's a lot of fun. I would admit that. It's a lot of fun. Squatting up with three random people. Hopefully I get two people to play with me and um, see how it goes from there. But... But the fact that what pisses me off that that uh, that IGN and Metacritic gave the campaign a low score, I will actually give the campaign a six point five at best. And for the multiplayer, I give it a seven point five to be frank. So altogether would be. Nah, I give it a seven. The whole game a seven. From multiplayer to campaign, I, I'll give it a seven. To be honest, and it's funny enough that a lot of people are being getting pissed that uh, technically IGN supposedly, supposedly uh, uh, marked the wrong game for that low score. I'm, I'm not really sure. That's been, that's what I've been hearing. I haven't read the article about that nor seen a video about that yet but i will soon but yeah just just because now that activision blizzard is now owned by xbox it it feels like so much hate on xbox more and more and more within ign and of course metacritic and among of course amongst playstation fanboys like i said in my uh, in my last uh, video after this please wake up we all love games. We all like to play games. Just enjoy the game and have fun with it. Pretty much after this video, I will I will play some more Call of Duty. And then after that, play some Resident Evil 4 Remake. But to finish that Resident Evil 4 Remake, I mean in professional mode and of course separate ways. But anyway, um, so yeah. Um, but nonetheless, guys, I understand what people are coming from. You know, it's... Uh, Modern Warfare 3, it's uh, it was it was it's okay. I'll admit it's just okay. It's not great. It's that bad. It's just okay. But we run along. Um, with Nintendo, uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder is getting a lot of praise, and of course the Sony fanboys are not happy about that because the game beat. Spider-Man by a couple points. And of course, they're coping. They won't admit it. They're trying to use that game to say, oh, <laughs> Super Mario Bros. is better than Starfield. And still, that doesn't make any sense. Is that why are you using a Nintendo game against your own logic? Are you now a Nintendo fanboy too? So that, that, that's kind of, that pissed me off even more. But not again... Good job, Nintendo, for making an awesome Super Mario Brothers game. I'll be picking that up soon, and uh, along with Super Mario RPG. Can't wait for those two to be in my hands. And not only that, guys. Speaking of Nintendo, there's been an announcement that um, Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, is getting a movie. And it's live action. 
I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I would love a live action Zelda, but I wish they would do animation instead. But hey, whatever floats the boat. So I would be happy to see that to fruition because I love the Zelda games. I love, you know, certain Zelda games. You know, I do like the Super Nintendo Zelda game Links to the Past. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, uh, Twilight Princess, uh, Skyward Sword, and and um, the other two Zelda games that happened during the Nintendo Switch. I can't wait to see how it happens. Can't to see how what uh, what what would be the story of that. Will it have to be three parts? Will it be just one big old big old movie? We'll see. So, uh, yeah, what else? Oh, speaking of a game, Baldur's Gate 3 had been announced that it's coming to Xbox next month on the 6th. And, and it's going very, very, very well over there within the creators of Baldur's Gate 3. Even though that, that announcement that happened... Or if it was a leak. If it was a leak, fine. If it was an announcement, great. They're, they're even talking about how much they're using the Series X with performance. And uh, they're loving what they're seeing within the Series X. Uh, using their performance. And it's and it's great. And not only that, uh, another person was talking about the Series S. Saying that, uh, hey... <laughs> I was wrong about the little guy. This system is great. Because you see, guys, when you play a certain console that is uh, a little underpowered but still performs really great, please don't bash on it. This Series S is a good console. I had it for a while before I gave it, gave it away. And, and again, the Series S is a great console. You want to pick up the white one or the black one. Both great systems at a good price. You can't beat that. I just wish Sony would uh, wake up and see how much, <laughs> uh, how much Xbox is improving a lot more, especially in Japan. Oh, Japan! Japan is loving that as Xbox so much. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content for with more gaming videos. Maybe I'll do some more Power Rangers. If you guys see this, I'll try my best throughout the long run and I hope I make more videos later on. So this is Ultra Dark Slayer. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. We're in the world. Stay safe out there. Be kind to one another and say, and hey, haha. <laughs> It's almost Thanksgiving. I can't wait, wait for that turkey. Gobble, gobble. So until next time, guys. Peace.